Greetings and salutations, everyone. I am back with another film review here for that um, Hammer Films set that I've been going through of the 20 Blu-rays of 20 of their films. And as stated in my initial video, I am reviewing all of these and making a video, even if I don't like, you know, the movie, which in this case, unlike Cash on Demand, which was the one from last week, which I really did like a lot. This one I did not care for. This is for the 1958 film called The Snorkel. So already from that title, I should have known it probably wouldn't be one that I would like. It's kind of a weird title. Anyways, here's the synopsis for it. It states, although the police have termed her mother's death a suicide, a teenage girl believes her stepfather murdered her. Cool. So, yeah. So here's my problem with this film is that it starts off showing the guy killing the woman. You know, we see a long, slow process of him using a snorkel to breathe through these tubes, going outside while filling a room with gas, killing a woman that he had drugged and was asleep. So the daughter already kind of figures that something is up. Her father had passed away from some mysterious circumstances as well, so she hasn't really trusted her stepfather. So really what we end up getting out of this is just a very slow-moving situation of her trying to prove that he's responsible and also prove how he did it. It gets really slow for most of the movie. Um, by the time we kind of get toward the end, you know, the jig is up, but it's very anticlimactic. You know, she kind of figures out what's going on. He attempts to kill her. There's just not a lot going on in this movie. And ultimately, where I think that this movie really failed was showing us that murder initially. You know, there was no mystery to solve, no tension due to a revelation or some sort of confirmation or something that happens. You know, I'm also not familiar with any of the actors in this. You know, such as previous films, I'd seen ones with Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee, and Oliver Reed. And where those films were at least giving me this extra bit of interesting information and that experience and getting to see those actors in roles when they were much younger. But with this one, it just kind of plotted along very slowly. It was tough to even get through, even though it was only 90 minutes. And like I said, I think it's because they showed us exactly what the guy was doing right at the beginning, rather than giving us a mystery to unfold, to have this young girl try to figure out what happened and then stumble across the fact that he did it, rather than opening with that confirmation. I think it would have worked better as a mystery as opposed to whatever this was. So to sum it up, Cash on Demand was very good. I really think you should check that one out. But the Snorkel from 1958, not so much. Um, I didn't really enjoy it. I would probably say to skip this one. But um, hey, you know, speaking of enjoy it, I hope you at least enjoyed this review. I know it was a very quick one. Um, hopefully the next one that I go through will be a little bit better. As I've seen with some of these films, you can't win them all. Uh, some of them have been going really well, especially like Cash on Demand I really loved. You know, and there's a few kind of sprinkled in here that haven't been going so well. I think this is film number eight. I might not be counting right. I don't have the set with me, but there are going to be some others that I'm coming up with as well as some other content. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. And especially if you're staying all the way to the end here, because that actually does help the algorithm if you watch the whole video, as well as liking the video if you enjoyed it, subscribing if you want to see more, hit that little bell icon down there. So that way you'll know when I put some more content up. And be sure to share this video around and this channel around because it actually really does help a lot more than most people know. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.